right there. Thank you so much. Yo, Been a huge part of the community. Her, bro. Three, All right. Two, All right. So we got a uh, Palu and Peach on starting on Battlefield. Uh, I I haven't seen this matchup recently. I might be bugging up, but I mean, both these characters are quite popular here in New York. Um, I think they have different game plans, uh, but both of them have to do a big part with mobility. Peach has unique mobility, you know, given her float, how she can change the height, change the timing on things. She really does end up moving unlike any other character. Whereas Palutena just has all around amazing movement. Fantastic run speed, air speed, initial dash. She's got it all in order to move and groove. Uh, big problem with this match goes to making a single mistake against Peach. It can explode. Yeah. Um, yeah, and right here, this ledge scenario is just pretty hard for Palu. Because um, Peach is a character, especially with the battlefield ledges, uh, she could have a very easy time two framing you with the ledge. So, like, as you just saw, Frozen ate about 40% just trying to recover like a normal person. Not only that, but because of the change to two framing in this game where you don't get your jump back, Alutana getting two frames is a big deal. Because yeah. now she's off stage without a jump. Either she, she could die, or at the very least, her timing is more predictable and it's even easier for uh, to get another tag. Yeah. Also, is he playing the Kofi tag? Yes. And um, yeah, he just he just had a whiff grab in his face that uh, he forwarded first before. But, yeah. So so one interesting thing about this matchup is uh, sometimes you know Peach Peaches like to recover with Peach Bomber, and Palo's back there being a shield will always beat out Peach Bomber if I'm not mistaken. So I don't I think that's a mix up that um, Palu can thwart. Wow, it's still. <laughs> That is also another thing about this match is explosive flame. The fact that when Peach is floating, I believe she still can't air dodge in this game when she's floating. Uh, uh, because I know that was the case in the last game. I think it's still that way. Yeah. So if she's floating at a specific height and Frozen is able to read that, he could just do jump side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Catch. She's, yeah, she commits to the float. Yeah. I mean, I mean explosive flame is not committal at all from Palu. <laughs> she can throw it away from, throw it out from like halfway across the stage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, one thing that I did um, that I did read and hear about that um, some of the Peach players were talking about that Peach, one thing she does struggle with a little bit is projectiles. Because uh, like when, whenever she's flung and she's committed to that float, you can kind of throw things at her and let her and make her deal with it. And Powell having two projectiles like that, whenever she floats, Powell can make you deal with a bunch of options that she has, like a neutral plane or explosive form. Only thing about that is that, yes, it can be hard for her to traditionally deal with projectiles, but as you saw, the movement options you have once you float mean that you can snake through projectiles in a way that no other character can, to the point where this wallout game is not, it's not been getting too much damage. It is forcing the approach, and that's really what Frozen has been uh, managing to get a lot of mileage with, in fact, taking a lead uh, on the second stop. Yeah, and um, right now you have a, you have a Frozen with Player 4 at the ledge. Now let's see how he gets off the ledge right now. Because Frozen has been doing a great job at keeping Player 4 at the ledge and really closing off his options. And with that being said, just securing that second stop. Now this is, I feel like for Player 4, this entire set is a time bomb. Because the longer it takes, the more time Frozen is going to adapt to how you play. He's so smart. He's so good at just keeping track of what you like to do. And we're already seeing that in game one. What looked so dominant for player four is now he's down an entire stock, already having taken 36%. And very good chance that he's going to eat even more before he manages to uh, end the second stock that Frozen has. Yeah, and um, you know, with that being said, player four is a, you know, good player in his own right and if he can secure the stock probably before 50 percent like you know looks well for, looks good for him i've always feel like maybe just my experience playing against him but he's not really about the long game he's about explosive power and when you're playing from behind explosive power isn't as good now it's really good now that you know this he's uh okay yeah yeah Ooh, but messes up that combo yeah, that would have been huge yeah, it looked like uh, Frozen mixed up his DI there. He, instead of DIing away, which is what you should do, he DI'd in, which kind of messed up what uh, Player 4's combo route was going to be. Oh, and that's what you yeah. were saying, where just Palutena has the hitboxes to be able to hang back and punish that side beat. Yeah, because Peach Bomber is pretty hard to punish for most characters, but Palutena having the hitbox and having the speed on her aerials just contested flat out. That would just, a lot of this is just space back in and forward air. I mean, if you're frozen, that's a good luck. Although, as I say that, he actually got punished, and now he's taking a lot of damage from being trapped in the corner. 
Yeah, right now, you know, play four holding center stage right now, and Frozen is in danger right now at the ledge. You could die at the ledge at this percent. Oh, absolutely. Peach forward air is it's just so meaty. And the funny thing is both these characters have no power, but it's interesting in how it ends up playing out, where Peach has she can kill you so early with these explosive moves. But Palutena hmm. is about consistency. Her neutral air able to kill off stage. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that that does. What did you think, Palutena no. neutral air? No, yeah, no, no. I, like I, kn I know that kills, but I'm hmm, not sure if it could have lived that or not. It looked like good di. I mean, it, with Look, between so neutral air being a long animation, and on top of that, the whole kill screen. I doubt he didn't optimally DI. Hmm. Yeah. Player 4 knows how to DI. Yeah. 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 Maybe he was trying to SDI out and he got uh, caught. Yeah, you can't SDI out of that. <laughs> that's, that's illegal and not true. <laughs> not SDI out of that. Can't you SDI in to sort of keep you alive a little bit longer? Because like technically, if you SDI in and you're a little bit further into it, you'll be closer to the yeah, uh, further away from the blast I know, like I know SDI works a little differently in this game. I don't know why. Like it, it, it works. It works like uh, it depends on how long you're stuck in the multi -hit instead of just SDI on the multi -hit in general. So it's like it's it works a little bit differently. But it's not important now. We're gonna go on game two um, on Smashville. How do you feel about Smashville in this situation? Hmm. Now I feel like. It's hard to say. One thing is that given the fact that he was getting a lot of mileage off of stage control, that platform there makes it so much easier to trap people in the corner because it limits like one of these approach options. You have a roof over your head while you're also pressuring your opponent. So that could possibly be the game plan that uh, that he's looking for. Besides that, the blast ones on the side, I believe, are still smaller, so Peach Forward Air is going to be that much more threatening. Yes. Platform to land a little bit, maybe. Peach isn't really known for her juggling power. Yeah, but right now, um, pretty even game. Yeah, player four. Just trying to fro force first into the corner. Ooh, and you know, nice spot dodge, not getting grabbed in that situation. The thing is, this is pretty even, but it feels like player four is threatening lethal more than uh, Frozen is. Uh, you know, <laughs> exactly, I say that, I forget I was, about I was about to say, it seems like uh, Frozen has the emotional advantage because uh, <laughs> the emotional <laughs> With all these explosive flames that were going on, it just seemed like that he was pushing uh, player four further and further away from his comfort zone and he eventually got hit by it. The emotional advantage. Oh, yeah, definitely. When you get hit by enough of those B moves, you, you, your, emotional, your emotional status kind of <laughs> drops. But, uh, Actually able to survive the forward air, and okay, that's a bit of a backfire right there. The platform helping out uh, Frozen quite a bit, and back throw off the stage is even more damage. Frozen running away with this game. Ooh, yeah, went for the up smash for you. It's anticipating the early recovery by player four. Remember that uh, Palutena threatens a skyscraper above her. She's alive? Wow. Yeah. And that's that Stitch. Stitch on board. Okay. Now let's see what he could do with this. Uh, he's going to get oh, a grab. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to get reflected back at him. That's it. Yeah, you died. Oh, okay, now we got a Mr. Saturn. Mr. Saturn on deck. Okay. Okay, what is with this lock? The uh, one thing about Mr. Saturn is it, more than any of the others, can really just be used against you. Oh, yeah. If you're Peach. Yeah, but Frozen immediately throwing that away. Not one to deal with that on the stage at all. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't Z drop it. What kind of Smash player is he? As soon as I get a hold of an item, I immediately start Z dropping it. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I Z drop it because it feels cool. Yeah, maybe he would gain some emotional advantage off of that, but um, exactly. But right now, you know, Frozen in the lead with the physical and emotional advantage. But right now, you know, player four mounting a comeback. Yeah, that emotional em emotions are fast and fleeting. That's why I don't like to have. Them. Uh, and to, oh no. No, it's funny. It's funny you say that. You know, Peach had a whole game based on her emotions. I know. <laughs> I loved that game. I played that. I hundred percented that game as a kid. Yeah. Although I didn't quite understand how it was a little bit sexist. Hey, it's we're like not Peach gets her own game. Hey, man. Where she is emotional. Hey, but we, we have a game where Palu is a uh, top tier character. So. That's true. And uh, right now, uh, oh! Frozen getting sniped. I don't think he expected to get hit by that. It looked like it two framed him. I mean, yes, most likely. Uh, because then again, it lasts so long. It is a basically just a constant hitbox when it's coming down. It seemed like maybe he was a little bit further away. It hit him kind of a distance, but regardless, 
Now they're both at one stock apiece. This is still player four can win this, absolutely, especially given the combo game. He hasn't really gone off on anything just yet. Ooh, oh, okay. No, you know, I respect that. Oh, and I respect that even more. So in that situation, he crossed up his shield on landing with the <laughs> parasol. And this is emotional advantage at its finest because player four is feeling himself. He's moving in a way that he hasn't been the rest of the set. Yo, he is smooth. Yo, okay. So right now he is moving really hard and he went for the up smash read and that back air is safe. Okay, let's see what he does. Okay, Over fourth throw. throw. I like that, keeping the back throw fresh. And that is definitely, there's a strong possibility he can kill with that in this Ooh, game. Ooh, and I'm surprised. Oh. Okay, I was about to say, he was about to get shield poked. So he had to come out of shield, either roll, parry, something. He I jumped, surprised. I believe. Yeah, he had to do something. I was surprised he had shield poked the first time with the first pair. Like, Actually, if it shield poked with downer, he would have lived, right? Um, Yes. Yes. But That's when you tactically... Uh, Drop shield to shift, get hit by no, a down air. Shift your shield downwards. Hmm. Tactically. Yeah. You, for those who don't know, you can actually hold B and shift your shield. You don't have to like angle it with crazy like notches in your modified game view controller anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could just hold B and um, angle your shield. But um, yeah, I mean, great stuff by um, player four. Just it's taking that last last stock by fire. Good stuff. Um, and we're going to go to PS2. One, go. Yeah, and the way this set is... Game 1? So no, game 1 was here, right? Uh, no, I believe Game 1 was Battlefield. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Wow, and oh. start off with a quick 55%. Uh, when you're playing against Palutena, you got it. <gasps> oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Did okay. you notice that he dropped the parasol right as the wind box came at him? Yeah, and I was just, and he was just like, uh, you know what? Maybe this isn't the best decision. I might fly away. I mean, that was actually so smart. Like, I can't believe he accounted for that. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, um, you're forcing with a quick lead, just keeping, just keeping player four on his heels, and great counter by player four. Yeah. I mean, I feel like player four is starting to play really smart right now. But what can smartness do against a shield in your face? Yeah. Like, you can't brain that away. Yeah, and Frozen playing, being very aware of that, uh, because Paolo's best buttons are come from her jumping in the air. So he knows that, so he's keeping a distance, back airing and forward airing, throwing out some explosive flame, just attack one to percent. Because boxing and being up close to Peach throwing out arrows sometimes isn't the best thing to do. And he knows this. I mean, right now, throwing out those aerials was uh, key. Managing to get a, uh, a solid back air. Oh, and he gets Did he get the grab. drag down up air? Excuse me? Okay, it wasn't quite 55% that time. Only 43 to dish yeah. out on Sina. Uh, oh. Player 4 and start this game. Next stock, rather. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that upbeat was. But, uh... Oh, man. I really like the choice of PS2. Those falling back airs. If you're a character with a good back air, Pokemon Stadium 2 is really good for you. Just get to, like, drop off back air. Drop off platform back air. Yeah, it, you could do drop zones a lot easier um, with the the PS2 stage layout. Um, but right now, you know, player four just baiting something out, just dancing around Frozen in the mid range, and just calling that jump out with an up smash. Knowing that's a common option that players would love to pick in this game. Ooh, catching, catching player four with the explosive flame on the step back. Oh, Palu back is not killing. Uh, without any rage, I guess that's not going to finish it. But that's still, you don't need any rage for that move to KO the ledge. Yeah, he's jumping in that forward too. Ooh, okay. Nair grab. I yeah. like the coverage. Yeah, yeah. Nice coverage by player four, but Frozen with a good DI just minimizing the damage that could have been taken in that instance. I feel like... Uh, it seems Frozen is just being a lot more aggressive for this game three. Staying in his face, putting on pressure. Oh, and just fading back at the right moments. The forward are completely whiffing. And those rings delivering death. You all right? No. So, okay. So, um, so one of the things about Peach is, uh, although Peach has all these tools uh, to dominate neutral, one of her shortcomings is if you, if you kind of play her in the mid-range, uh, 
Her faster buttons like Nair and Back Air don't have the best hitboxes. Like they're good hitboxes, but not the best hitboxes compared to something like Pilo Back Air, Pilo Forward Air, and Pilo Nair. So when you, when you stay in that mid-range and don't let her get stuff like turn up or like throw out her forward air, which is a big sweeping hitbox, um, it makes it a little bit harder for her to operate. So n near the end of game three, Frozen kind of exploited that and he just stayed within the mid-range of Peach. So you couldn't really pull out any turn ups, couldn't really set up his forward air, forward air spacing and none of that stuff and kind of just ran away with that.